So Bravest is a song that I wrote with Mallory Trunell, who is a very, very talented singer-songwriter and good friend of mine. Um, that we've been singing together for years, and we wrote this song together over several years, actually. I had had the sort of little chord progression in my mind from even years before I sat down with Mallory, and I'd been working on the song. This is one of those songs that was it evolved a lot over time. Uh, there were different lyrics. It was about different things. Then I wasn't sure how to what to do with it. So Mallory and I wanted to write together. So I brought that and I said, this is, this is sort of the structure, the skeleton that I have. And, and then we came up with close to what is the final version, but it had a kind of a different chorus that was actually, if I can remember, it was called Silent Goodbye. The whole thing is about deciding to be strong enough to leave something that is not good for you anymore. Toxic relationship, job that isn't serving you anymore, whatever it is. It was more about the love aspect for me and Mallory as we were both sort of going through the same thing. So this was a cathartic writing session. Then it sort of sat on a shelf for a few years again. And this past year when I was getting ready to record, I wanted to be on the EP, but when my car got stolen, what we had worked on, the lyrics and everything, had gotten stolen as well. And I was so sad, but then Mallory, bless her, had the little voice memo recording from her phone. And I was able to sort of piece together some of the lyrics and, and then rewrite some of them. And that is what the final version that you hear is. Letting go of even something that isn't good for you and is making you feel sad can be so hard and takes so much courage. A lot of times the familiar is less scary than the unknown. It's not trying to hide like, oh, I'm just, I'm just being brave and I'm just strong and like, screw you. It's really real about how hard it is feeling like you can't even move, but picking yourself up and crawling if you have to. So it's my message to myself and to anyone who has is feeling the same kinds of feelings or in those same kinds of situations. Know that you're not alone. I hope that you can be brave.